27th, Blessed Benvenute of Recanati, Confessor, First Order. At Recanati, in the old province of Piceno, which has given so many saints to the Franciscan order, Benvenute was born of Christian parents early in the 13th century. Reared in simplicity and piety, he did not care for the world and its pleasures, but the love of God waxed strong in him, and he had grown to young manhood, and when he had grown to young manhood, he resolved to quit the world. At the Franciscan convent in his native town, he asked for admission as a lay brother, and admission was readily granted to this pious young man. In the convent, Benvenute was above all concerned about laying a solid foundation in humility, the foundation of all virtues. The mystery of the profound condescension of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament had a marvelous attraction for him. On one occasion, when he had to supply the place of the sacristan, he was so absorbed in contemplation in the morning after Holy Mass that he forgot himself and remained kneeling before the Blessed Sacrament, becoming aware of things around him only when it was nearly noon. The good brother was struck with fear. He had not prepared anything for the meal. What would he set before the brethren? But he who had detained him to partake of heavenly bread also provided for the bodily food of his brethren. When Benvenute got to the kitchen, an angel in the appearance of a beautiful young man greeted him with a courteous bow and pointed to the meal he had prepared. Benvenute served it, and all the brethren declared that they had never eaten better food. But the incident made our brother Cook all the more devout toward the Blessed Sacrament. He visited our Lord in the tabernacle as often as duty permitted. With the permission of his superiors, he communicated very often and derived such fruit from Holy Communion that he seemed to be changed into Christ and to live only for God. Frequently he was filled with rapture and was permitted to embrace our divine Lord in his arms. A perfect model of all virtue for his brethren and rich in grace, he passed to eternal bliss on May 5th, 1289. At his grave, his intercession was invoked in the most diverse needs, and many miracles constantly increased his veneration. Pope Pius VII permitted the Mass and office in honor of Blessed Benvenute to be celebrated. On Eternal Goods Eternal goods should be treasured above all things. Reflecting on the permanence of heavenly goods, Blessed Brother Benvenute left everything offered by the world and became a poor Franciscan. He heeded and carried out the admonition of our Lord. Lay not up to yourselves treasures on earth, where the rust and the moth consume, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up to yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither the rust nor the moth consume, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Matthew 6, 19 through 20. Which treasures do you seek to acquire? Eternal goods are not properly evaluated. Most people are bent on acquiring temporal goods, money, possessions, distinctions, honor, and pleasure. They put themselves to much trouble by day and by night to acquire them. How many there are who ignore the goods of eternity for the sake of some temporal benefit, a momentary pleasure. The words of our Lord are directed to them. I have sworn in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Hebrews 3.11 Which goods are you trying to acquire?
Temporal goods are quite worthless. They are transient and cannot satisfy the heart of man. Solomon reveled in worldly luxury, and in the end he was forced to admit, quote, I was weary of my life when I saw that all things under the sun are evil, and all vanity and vexation of spirit. End quote. Ecclesiastes 2.17 Do not permit yourself to be dazzled by the things of this world. Prayer of the Church O God of mercy, grant that we who celebrate the memory of blessed Benvenute may imitate his humble and devout life here on earth and at his intercession may arrive at the blessed dwelling with thee in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Benvenute of Recanati, pray for us. Thank you.